Mmm, pancakes. But not the pancakes you're thinking of. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about pancaking, but in the context of an ostomy, it's not quite the same as what you'd expect. So for those who don't know what pancaking is, it's essentially referring to when your uh, ostomy output is kind of stuck on top of your pouch, usually when it's very thick and uh, it doesn't fall to the bottom, it sort of collects up at the top, you know, and around your stoma, and that's what we refer to as pancaking. Now, pancaking is a huge issue um, because it creates so many problems. Uh, you have the tendency to have more leaks, you have uh, more pressure being put, you know, around your stoma because there's literally crap trying to push out and um, you could also risk actually having your pouch fall right off um, because of the pressure so it's obviously something that you don't want to have all the time and it's best to uh, remedy it uh, before it starts rather than you know after it becomes a problem so hopefully in this video I'll be able to offer you at least some ideas as to uh, ways of dealing with this and um, hopefully I'll never have the problem so one of the first things that you might want to try if pancaking is a problem uh, for you is to lubricate the inside of your pouch. Now, I know a lot of people will do uh, like their own do-it-yourself type tricks. So they'll spray Pam uh, cooking spray inside their pouch or they'll put baby oil or olive oil. Um, it shouldn't really be too much of an issue so long as it's not affecting your wear time. So if that oil is uh, corroding your pouch uh, wafer and you know you're not getting the same wear time as you're used to then stay away from the oils and maybe stick to one of the commercial products uh, there's Brava lubricating deodorant uh, there's uh, actually quite a few from different brands and I've got uh, quite a few reviews on various brands uh, and I'll post the link below for that but Basically, the idea is you want to coat the inside of your pouch so that when you do have any output, it can easily slide down to the bottom, or at least that's the idea. So that's really one of the first lines of defense if we're talking about pancaking. Now, I do want to add that if you're using any kind of lubricant, you really need to make sure that you're getting right up to the top if possible, and that way you get a nice coating of that lubricant um, in all the places that your stool would normally be sticking to. So if you uh, are using uh, any kind of product like that, don't just squeeze it in the pouch and, and leave it. You really have to try to move that up towards the top of your bag, and um, you'll have the best luck that way. Now another thing that you might want to try is to increase your fluid intake. A lot of the times if we're not drinking enough, especially for ileostomates that have really thick stool, and I happen to be one of those um, people, then things kind of don't move along, they, this, the output is sticky, it doesn't fall down to the bottom like it should, and it generally just has a hard time, and the result is pancaking. So if you up your fluid intake, and this can include water, this can include some uh, juices that have a mild laxative effect, like prune juice, for example, or grape juice, or apple juice, I mean, whatever works for you. Uh, for some people, it's coffee. Um, but the idea is to kind of loosen that stool a bit so that it does fall down rather than just stay up there. So that's one of the things you can try. Another thing to try, um, which really shouldn't be a problem if you're eating a plant-based diet, is to increase your fiber intake. Now the fiber that you want to focus on is the insoluble type. So that's what you would find in a lot of um, whole grains. Uh, you'll find that in uh, the skins of fruits and vegetables. And that's the type of fiber that doesn't absorb water which is why they call it insoluble fiber, but it will bulk your stool and it will make it um, less likely to become hard and dry, which is typically what you'd expect from a colostomy output. Um, not so much with ileostomies, but um, for most colostomates, they'll find that that might do the trick for them. Now, another really common cause for pancaking is an overly aggressive filter. Now, I know when we're talking ostomy pouches, filters aren't usually the things that we would say work too well, um, especially if you're an ileostomate. But there are filters that uh, what happens is if there's any gas or air inside the pouch, it will remove it all, but at the same time will create a vacuum. And that vacuum means that the uh, pouch walls basically stay stuck together. 
and that makes it barely really impossible for any stool to, to hit the bottom of your pouch. And um, what you want to do to correct that is either cover the filter up and you'll usually get those little stickers that come in the package uh, with your wafers. If you don't, uh, like if you have a Hollister pouch, then you can just put some tape, medical tape or whatever, on the outside of your filter and just cover that up. Now, if you uh, do get ballooning or, or you know gas in your pouch, then you want to remove that filter and let the filter work, and that way you know you have the kind of the best of both worlds. So, um, really, the idea is try to make sure try to make sure that you don't have that vacuuming effect. Now, for some people, they um, might have some luck just blowing some air into their pouch. Uh, you can usually do that with each empty or um, before you put on a pouch if it's a close-ended pouch, but that will also allow the you know pouch walls to basically separate a bit and allow any output to uh, flow freely. Now another neat trick, which is something I've never tried before, but I know that um, quite a few Ostomates will do this, is to moisten uh, a bit of tissue paper or toilet paper and uh, just stick that in the pouch. And that basically creates the same effect as blowing air into it. So it kind of keeps the walls of your, um, of your bag separated a bit so that things can move uh, without any issues. So that might be something to try too. Now if all else fails and you're really just not able to um, accomplish many things with your pouch, you might want to try going to a different pouch system. So try different brands, see perhaps if their filters are a little bit better, maybe they're not creating that vacuum effect, and um, perhaps you'll have better luck with them. Now let's face it, it's not going to always be easy and uh, completely automatic. A lot of the times you do have to make a little bit of an effort to prevent pancaking. So if you find that you have thicker stool and things aren't really moving um, down to the bottom of your pouch as you would like, just push it down. Don't be afraid of that. Um, most of the time that's really not going to create any issues. Uh, and as a matter of fact, with uh, if you're wearing a wrap or um, something like a stealth belt or an ostomy guard, uh, a lot of the times that might actually increase the chances of having uh, pancaking and you may have to do that from time to time just to make sure that things are you know, evenly distributed throughout the pouch. So don't be afraid, um, it's perfectly normal. I mean, don't fidget with your pouch all day, but um, you know, definitely try to move things along if, uh, if it's stuck and you know, needs a bit of help. Now when it comes to emptying your pouch, uh, especially when you have a pancaking issue, one of the things that I find comes in really handy is to have uh, just a, a water bottle uh, handy, usually near the toilet. And what I do is I'll fill that up with water and if I need to empty my pouch and the output is really thick and you know not moving through easily, I'll just rinse the inside of my pouch out with that water and that usually helps to move things along and you know clear things up. Really the goal is you don't want to have any um, stool or anything like that you know, being stuck near the stoma because that will start to erode your wafer much quicker than it should. So um, whatever you can do to minimize that erosion um, and obviously that the uncomfortableness that comes with pancaking, um, then you'll, you'll have a much better time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, I hope that some of the tips in here will give you some ideas at least to help uh, manage pancaking that you might be having. Uh, I'm really interested to hear if you guys have any of your own suggestions. I do have an article that will accompany this video and uh, I'll be adding any you know new tips and things like that to it. So if you're still having issues with pancaking, check the article out from time to time and perhaps you'll get some new ideas to try. But uh, if you do have any tips or anything you'd like to share, uh, please let me know. You can either leave it in the comments below or contact me uh, either through the Veganostomy site or by email um, or even social media. I mean, the choice is yours. Anyway, until next time, have a good one. Take care. So I hope this video's been help. Been help? Really?
All right, so I hope some of those tips. What are you doing, Velvet? Vivi.